Uh, Mark Polmans joins us now on the first serve after qualifying for Wimbledon for the very first time. It's been a really special week. Mark, thanks for your time. Take us inside this week. You must be absolutely pumped to be in the main draw at the All England Club next week. Yeah, th- thank you, Josh. Um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm quite pumped, you know, to get through yesterday's, you know, epic battle. Um, you know, uh, every time I play five sets, I seem to go all the way, All the, you know, I like play all five sets. So so I was just happy I, I was able to come through it. Um and yeah, to have a shot now in the main draw at, at Wimbledon, it's, it's, it's an awesome opportunity. You touched on that third round of qualifying because you breezed through the first round and the second round. But yesterday went for five sets. It went for nearly four hours, I think. Take us inside that match because it went to 11-9 in the deciding set. It was an epic <laughs> encounter in qualifying. It's just yeah. amazing that that's the way you qualified for Wimbledon for the first time. Yeah, I mean, it was a back and forth sort of match. You know, I had a great start and, and took the first set and, and he battled back. Um, and I won the third set in the tie break. So, you know, it could have gone either way at that stage. But, um, you know, he, he did well to fight and, and take it to a five-setter. Um, but I just think it was I had a slight advantage, you know, serving first and the fifth because I was always ahead of the scoreboard. And and eventually, you know, I knew the, the pressure would become, you know, quite a lot, especially, you know, getting to nine all, ten all. Um, so, yeah, I'm just happy I was able to break eventually. Um, just in time before the you know the match tie break happened at twelve all, so so um yeah definitely a, a cool way to to qualify for my my first Wimbledon definitely. Mm. You spent a lot of time at the Kuyong Lawn Tennis Club, and a lot of Australians grow up watching Wimbledon on TV late at night and dreaming about pl- playing at Wimbledon. Were you one of those kids that grew up dreaming about playing on Wimbledon? Oh, I think I think all young kids, you know, we we you know we've we've grown up watching you know Federer and Rafa have all these epic battles at Wimbledon. Um, so it's always been you know it's it's the only slam I've, I haven't played in the main draw off. So it was definitely something I really wanted to achieve. Um, and you know to be in the singles main draw amongst all the other you know best players in the world. Um, and I think there's nine nine Aussies in the main draw mm. this year, so it's it's a good achievement for for the Aussie tennis, definitely. Let's talk about your preparation now. You you fell in the third round of qualifying at Roland Garros and headed to Nottingham, and played a couple of tournaments there. What's your preparation been like on grass? Because as we know, it's a condensed season given the delay of Roland Garros. It's really come around really quickly. Yeah, it was it was a quick turnaround after after Paris. You know, I went to hard court for a few days in Valencia, and then went straight to Nottingham when they when they allowed the players to arrive. Um, and, you know, I had had two, you know, I lost first round of, the, of both challenges and, and close matches. Um, but I just feel that that was always going to be great prep for Wimbledon. Um, you know, having two good weeks on grass and, and practicing a lot on it. So I feel like that that paid off um, at, at, uh, at the qualifying at Wimbledon. Um, but, you know, it's such a short season. So you got to, you got to enjoy it. It only comes around for three three and a bit weeks. So unfortunately this is the last event on grass for me this year, but um, you know, it's, it's going to be a good one at least. <laughs> Let's talk about next week. Now your first round opponent is a man that's been around for a very long time. He's a 37 year old from Chinese Taipei. He's won more titles on the challenger tour than anyone. He reached the quarterfinals at Wimbledon back in 2010. You've never played against Yen Sun Lu. How do you prepare for someone that you've never played against and, and how are you feeling leading into your first round match? Yeah, um, you know, Lou, he's been around a very long time and he's been in the top 100 for a very long time too. So he's one of these guys who, you know, he knows his game. He knows he knows how to win. So it's going to be a good challenge. Um, but, um, you know, he hasn't been playing a lot this year. He's just been picking and choosing a few of the big events. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I've got a lot of matches under my belt and I'll definitely have more under my belt than him. So... So I'll be, you know, looking to to you know do my best and, and try to extend the match and make it physical and and see and see how things go. You mentioned the top 100. Then you've been bouncing between 100 and 150 for the last 18 months. How much of a goal is breaking into the top 100 for the first time? Yeah, it's, it's still it's still the big my number one goal for me um, is is to reach that top 100 level. Um, you know, it's just it's it's extremely difficult to. You know, to get into that top hundred, you have to win a lot of matches and at big tournaments, really, to to get enough points to get up there. Um, so, you know, this will be a big opportunity for me playing in the main draw of a slam. 
Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll keep staying persistent and, and keep pushing for that, for that, um, yeah, the top hundred, uh, goal for me. Mm -hmm. Last question I want to ask you, Mark, is about the restrictions for players at Wimbledon and, and even across the tour this year, it's such a difficult time for not just the sporting world, but the whole world. Tell us about the restrictions that are placed Mm -hmm. on the players right now. I understand that there's even barricades outside the hotel to prevent players from wandering anywhere. Yeah, mate, there's uh, definitely a couple restrictions that all the players need to strictly follow or else you'll you'll be resulted in, you know, being pulled out of the tournament. So, so yeah, we do a COVID test, um, which is the first one every three, four days. Um, and then, you know, we're in the bubble, so you can't leave. You can't leave the hotel. You, you only tennis and hotel. Um, and if you do try to leave uh, the security guards, the security guards will stop you. So there is no way you leave in the hotel. Um but I mean, this is what this is this is the reality now of of what um, the tennis world looks like. So, you know, most of us are getting used to it, but some players are struggling more than others. Um, but you know, I'm I'm just happy that uh, we can be playing these big events again. Definitely. Well, Mark, everyone at SCN, the first serve, and Australian tennis fans hope that you spend plenty of time in that hotel across the next fortnight, so that you uh, you go have a good run at this tournament. Thanks very much for your time on the first serve, and we look forward to chatting with you throughout the tournament. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you.